alone, with the rumble of hooves and a light breeze, William de Redvers heads towards the town of Laurinum. Thoughts and memories are intertwined in his mind. Henry, how long has it been since you left this world, making me promise to take care of your daughter Alice as my own? And now, after all these years, she contacts me, asking for my help. I remember Alice as a little, curly-haired girl playing on their doorstep. By what roads did her fate lead to accusations of witchcraft? The woodland path leads him closer and closer to Laurinum, and fragments of Alice's letter flash through William's mind. Accused of witchcraft. Of her husband's death. Out of having cursed the whole town. All these absurd rumors. Do the townspeople really believe it? Or is it just an attempt by someone to get rid of Alice and take over her inheritance? I'll have to find out. The city is closed. No trespassers allowed. Turn around and go back where you came from. I've heard rumors that your city is facing an invasion of demonic entities. Fortunately, exterminating such creatures is my specialty. This document certifies my right as a member of the Order of Arcanum to pursue evil in every form, in every corner of the world. Hmm. Warrior? of the Order of Arcanum. Well, William de Redvers, perhaps you will be of some use to us. These are frightening times. Not only have all manner of wickedness flocked to Larinum, but the local witch has cast a spell on us all. Death mows down our people like the fall harvest. I'll handle it. Good evening, traveler. You've chosen quite the time to visit Larnum. These days, all one can find here is their own doom. I need a room. A room? Well, of course, a room. Business has been slow since the owner passed away. So we welcome any guest we can get. There was a time when the tavern was never empty. Such festivities we had, oh, and once. A room. All right, all right. No need to get heated. Second floor, first door on the left. Rest assured, it's one of our finest rooms. Furnished by a witch herself, 
She surely knows how to arrange things so that guests leave satisfied and leave behind a bit more coin. The dream took William back in time, to the day the majestic gates of the Order of Arcanum opened before him. In solemn silence, William de Redvers knelt before the Brotherhood, intending to become part of the legendary Order of Arcanum. Now, all he had to do was wait patiently for someone from the Brotherhood to recognize his potential and train him. That day, it was Henry who chose William to be his mentor. William, you have a lot of potential, but it's important to learn how to manage it. I've been training you for over six months, so let's see what you've learned. Try to use the inertia of your body to continue the combination of quick attacks. Attack me! There's still some work to be done. Some attacks need more effort. What about power strikes? The chances of surviving a fight are greater for someone who doesn't miss hits on himself. I could watch you roll around on the ground like a wheel all day, but try linking your evasion with your opponent's inertia, and then you'll have a chance to land a devastating blow. Stop practicing. You can do a similar trick with a block. It's not as energy consuming, but it takes some skill. Try it. Ah. Ah. Glad I didn't waste my time training you. And I'm glad it was you who was my teacher, Henry.
stop. Where are you going? There's no room for the curious here. I'm here on business. I need to speak to Alice Greatwood, accused of witchcraft. And who are you to talk to this witch? I am a warrior of the Order of Arcanum, and I have come to Larinum to destroy the evil that has taken up residence here. If this girl is indeed a witch, I can stop her schemes. I've dealt with more powerful dark forces in the line of duty. If she is innocent, I will find and destroy the real threat. Oh, warrior of the Order of Arcanum. Surely the Lord God himself has sent you to Larinum to deliver us from the curses of that witch. Come in, sir. But beware, she may be behind bars, but she burned her own husband to death with one look. Do you recognize me? I'm William de Redvers, an old friend of your father's. William, at last, I prayed my letter would reach you. Your father was like a brother to me, and I made a vow to him to keep you safe. You can count on me, but first, I need to know the truth. Tell me what happened. Oh, William, I'm so scared. You know I'm not a witch, don't you? Everyone in town seems to be in a conspiracy. They blame me for every mortal sin. Sometimes they say absurd things. It's a nightmare. William, please get me out of here. Otherwise, by God, they'll burn me at the stake and no one will stop them. Tell me, how did your husband pass away? William, it was terrible. We were at a town party and suddenly, in front of everyone, Roger started screaming wildly, like something was burning him from the inside out. His body began to shake and convulse. His eyes turned white and his mouth began to foam. The people retreated in horror, and he collapsed right in the main square and stopped breathing. Everyone immediately began to say that it was the work of witchcraft. Are there those who would wish your husband harm? I don't know who would wish him dead. After all, we'd just gotten married, but there were rumors that he had debts and enemies in town. Maybe among Roger's things in our house, you'll find his diary. He was writing something in it. Who in town hates you? Almost everyone, I think. But especially his sister Beatrice, who has always been jealous of our happiness. Got it. I'm on it. Don't worry, Alice. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> 